Hey everyone, this is a guitar tutorial for This Is My Story by Charity Gale. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to my channel or give this video a like. Comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Additionally, if you're interested in any of the gear that you see today, there are links in the description below. If you want to check out how to donate to my channel, you can do that by clicking the three dots next to the like button, and you can go from there, and I really appreciate it. If you want to go down the rabbit hole of my brain into how I think, I wrote a book on my teaching experience in Catholic schools. It's kind of strange having a Pentecostal teach in Catholic schools, but I was able to do it for eight years and I enjoyed it so much. It's called How to Save Catholic Schools. It's on Amazon right now. Also, if you'd like to get some merch and support my channel, you can do that by going to my Spreadshop page and go to the link in the description. You'll find it there. All right, grab your acoustic guitar and you're going to need a capo today and let's get started. Like I said, you're going to need a capo. It's going to go on the fifth fret. And uh, we're going to be playing in the key of C to match the original key, which is F. Now, to be honest, you could play capo one and play an E. And I believe the rhythm guitarist is doing that. That's totally fine. But I want to teach you the lead part because the song actually has a distinct acoustic guitar part. So we're going to go capo five. And if your guitar is like mine, it'll be your second dot. But uh, your C is actually sounding an F. Um, and it's going to make things a little easier when it comes to finger picking. So I'll try to dive deep into that as much as I can in the amount of time that I have. Here are the chords you need to know. C. C over E, C suspended, which is also the F chord. You could also play F this way, A minor, G, and D minor. Now, I play D minor in some chords that I just showed you a little differently just to make the voicing sound as accurate as possible to the recording because I believe it's Charity Gale's husband that's playing the finger picking part. I could be wrong, um, but I think that is him. But there are two acoustic parts in the song. There's rhythm, guitar part, and the lead part. We're gonna to try to focus on the lead part and I'm playing a picking pattern. It's gonna sound like this on a C chord. Of course, it's going to be a little faster when we play through the song, and I'm going to put that in the back burner of your mind. But just so you know, here are some of the variations of the chords that I just showed you. Note that C is just a regular traditional C chord shape, index finger, B string, first fret, middle finger, D string, second fret, ring finger, A string, third fret, and you strum everything except the low E. But to play C over E, you add that low E string. To play G, I'm putting my middle finger on the low E third fret relative to the capo index finger a string second fret now you can play it with an open b string with that pinky on the high e third fret or you can drop your ring finger down and that's going to be how i play it in the verse I'm putting my ring finger down on the b string third fret but i'm going to lift it off and play an open b string for the choruses so keep that in mind for the f chord it's the same shape i'm playing for c suspended so that's kind of easy put that c shape back down and put your pinky on the d string third fret and you have yourself a c suspended but i'm also playing that as my f and it's really an f2 so you don't really need your middle finger i kind of lift it off there naturally you can play F the barred way by barring the entire first fret with your index finger, middle finger, G string, second fret, ring finger, and pinky go on the A and D strings of the third fret. And it sounds very full, but I don't think it actually fits in the song. And that's very abnormal for me to say because I love this chord, especially if you can pull that bar chord version off, but it just doesn't fit. Now, it may fit for the rhythm guitarist and, of course, they would be playing capo one, so they don't have to worry about that. Also for D minor, I'm not playing a full D minor chord. It sounds very nice and chimey, but I'm not gonna put that high E string down on the first fret. So I'm just gonna use my middle finger, G string, second fret, ring finger, B string, third fret, and avoid strumming the high E altogether. It just sounds accurate as much as possible to the recording. And again, that's just kind of what we're trying to shoot for. We're trying to make sure that we're appeasing what we're hearing in the recording. So those are all the chords you need to know. We're going to play through the song, but don't worry. I'm going to put the chords on screen for you. I'll see them as we go along and I'll go over that finger picking pattern after we play through it. All right, here we go. C. C suspended. C. 
See suspended. See. See suspended. See. A minor. G. C. C suspended. C. A minor. G. F. C. A minor. G. F. A minor. D minor. G. C. C suspended. C. C suspended. C. C suspended. C. A minor. G. C. C suspended. C. A minor. G. C over E. F. C. A minor. G. C over E, A minor, G, F, C over E, A minor, G, F, C over E, A minor, G, F, C over E, a minor G F C over E A minor G F C over E D minor C over E F C over E D minor C over E F C over E D minor C over E F C over E D minor G F C A minor G A minor G C F A minor D minor G C G over B A minor D minor G C, G over B, A minor, D minor, G, C, C suspended, C, C suspended, C, C suspended, C. A minor.
D. G. C. C suspended. C. G over B. A minor. D minor. G suspended. C. G over B. A minor. D minor. G suspended. C. Well, everyone, I hope that I was able to help you out with that tutorial. I'm so sorry, I forgot to show you G over B. I'm gonna show you that really quick. You should put your index finger on the A string second fret and your ring finger on the B string third fret and you get to strum almost everything. You can put your pinky on that high E string third fret as well. And that is G over B. It's really just a G chord with no middle finger on the low E string. If you're trying to move it between uh, G and G over B very quickly, you can always just lift that middle finger off so it's not playing that low E string. All right, so let's talk about that intro. I'm gonna play that for you again, and it's just C to C suspended, and that kind of makes it easy. I'm putting my thumb on the low A string to start with that low bass note, and then my index, middle, and ring fingers are gonna be the rest of the formula when it comes to this picking pattern. I'm gonna play it first and then try to break it down for you. That's pretty much it. Now my thumb is just going to hit that A string as much as possible for that low bass note. Um, and I'm not saying as much as possible playing it on every beat and off beat, but I'm just saying when it comes to the cycle of the pattern. So just so you have a heads up, I'm playing from the heart, not really the mind. I'm hearing it and I'm trying to play by ear and match it to the recording as much as possible and trying to give it to you uh, and filter that. So. Um, bear with me here my thumb is playing that a string like i said and then the index and middle fingers are actually the rest of the formula not the ring finger so i'm playing the a string with my thumb g string with my index and middle finger is playing the b string and i'm kind of going backwards after i play that so it's thumb index middle index thumb And then when I'm playing that suspension, I'm really just dropping that thumb down so it brushes against that D string. Just like that. So try to do it as slow as you can. And then up to speed. When it comes to changing chords, the thumb doesn't really move. The A minor uses the A string as its lowest note, but the G does not. You have to go to that low E string. And then you're putting that middle finger still on the B string, but your ring finger on your left hand is playing the B string on the third fret. And actually, I'm playing that with my pinky. I lied to you. I'm so sorry when I'm thinking about this. When I'm playing the G chord, it's the only variation that uh, my hand is doing, especially with my right hand thumb. And then when it comes to my left hand, it's a completely different story. My right hand thumb is just reaching up to the low E and everything else stays the same. The next finger stays on the G string, middle finger on the B string for that picking pattern. But for the left hand, my low E is covered with the ring finger, middle finger, A string, second fret, and then the index finger has to play the B string first fret. It's just what I'm hearing um, when it comes to the chord structure. Pinky is going to be on the B string third fret. And that's actually what I'm going to play first. So my thumb goes the low E on the right hand, index finger G, and then middle finger on that B string. Now I play that once and then I go back and lift off that pinky finger for my left hand. Now it's a G suspended. And I'm just kind of rocking back and forth before I go to the C chord again and the progression just repeats itself. So keep that in mind and I'm so sorry I couldn't go in depth 
further. But uh, you got to remember, I'm kind of teaching you from a YouTube video and I'm not in person. If it was one on one in person, I could definitely break things down and slow things down as much as you need to. Um, and I can only answer as much as I can in a comment section. So I apologize. But hopefully that helps you because that pattern is just thumb, index, middle. That's A string, G string, B string. And then it just varies depending on the chord that you're playing. And the G chord is the only difference with the thumb reaching for that low E on the right hand. And then just a different chord shape that you're playing for the G chord, not a traditional one, uh, just the one that I described. So hopefully that helps you guys out. When it comes to strumming patterns, um, I wouldn't stick with one strumming pattern the whole time. Notice when we go to the bridge, we're just doing straight A's all the way down no up strums and then when it comes to that final chorus you could i guess stick with that pattern for the first chorus the second chorus and this last one that would be down up up down up up down up up down you can stick with that pattern or you can make up your own that uh, helps your team out and helps the rhythm out because you don't want to do something that trails off into neverland just trust me and you don't want to stick with the same pattern the entire song uh, some beginners will like to do that but i encourage you don't do that if you don't know what to do just strum whole notes and let the band take care of the rest because uh, if you're overplaying i think it's a little worse than not playing at all so it's just something to keep in mind thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that like button comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future uh, if you'd like to donate to my channel you can do just that by clicking the three dots next to the like button and you can go from there and i really appreciate it if you'd like to check out my book how to save catholic schools it's on amazon right now go to my spread shop it's also linked in the description and you can buy some merch and support my channel that way as well all right thanks so much for watching guys have a great week and god bless